Hey there and welcome. Today I am going to be comparing for you the It Bye Bye Under Eye Bags and the Peter Thomas Roth Instafix for the Under Eye. I am going to be trying these for you and comparing the two. And as you can see, I have very large um, fat pads underneath my eyes that have um, let go. It's hereditary. And I am always looking for products that can help alleviate this. Um, and these two products are temporary. They are not permanent fixes. They are both temporary products. So I had picked up the Peter Thomas Roth one a long time ago when this went viral on TikTok. And there was that video of the lovely lady who had used it and it just like snatched her under eyes and they were just gone. And it was so amazing that I immediately ordered it along with, I'm sure, thousands and thousands of other people. The only problem I have with this one is it does leave a cast and actually a couple problems. It leaves a cast and it also, um, you have to be very careful what products you use with it or they'll break it down very quickly. So when I saw that It Cosmetics had come out with a Bye Bye Under Eye, I was very interested. So today I'm going to be trying both on for you, showing you both of these products actually on my eye bags and how they work and um, also a little bit of information about each so that if you also have um, some, you know, extra skin and bags going on under your eyes, you're able to make an informed decision about whether these products are right for you. Hi there, my name is Joy from the blog AgingWellWithJoy.com and on my blog and on this channel, we discuss beauty and wellness for the over 40 woman. If that's you, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining us. Okay, I'm just moving all my hair out of the way so that you get a really good view. Um, now, I did do my skincare this morning. After I took my shower, I put on my skincare, including you know my eye cream, and I have let it dry down because with the Peter Thomas Roth one, you are not supposed to use um, any kind of like under eye cream or makeup first. Okay, so I've let it dry down. It's you know a little bit tacky, but for the most part, it's all absorbed now. And I do not have any makeup on my face because again, with the Peter Thomas Roth one, they say not to use it over makeup. So I do have a little bit of lip gloss on, but no other facial makeup at all so that you get a really good view of what this actually looks like. Hopefully my camera is level for you. Okay, so let's start with just some basic information on this. So this one from Peter Thomas Roth, is $24 for 0.5 fluid ounces. It is significantly less expensive than the It Bye Bye Under Eye. This one is $40 for 0.5 ounces. So a significant cost difference between the two of these. So that's the first thing. Now I actually have this in the one ounce size. So I have the larger of the sizes and this one is $38. So still, this is still double the price because like I said, for 0.5, this one is 24 and for 0.5, this one is 40. And um, this for one whole ounce is only 38. So, you know, it's this is almost double the cost. However, there are some other things that I think are really important to consider. So both of these claim to be quick fixes for your eye. Neither one of them make any claims about this being a long-term thing. This is specifically a quick fix. Um, it should last the day um, and you should be able to wear both of these under makeup. Now with the Peter Thomas Roth, you cannot use water-based makeup. They tell you to avoid that. They also tell you to avoid using any kind of cream or eye product before you use this. So this needs to be applied to bare skin. Whereas with the It Bye Bye Under Eye, they actually say that this can be worn over makeup. Now, obviously today I'm testing it on just dry, bare skin for you. However, I will report back um, because I am very interested to find out if this does actually work once you have concealer and your makeup on. So very interesting. Both of them show photos on the websites of very good results in the studies that were done and the people that tried these. Both of these claim to tighten skin and depuff your eye bags. The other thing to consider with these when you're considering which to purchase if you need one of these is that this one says to allow it to dry down for five minutes. This one says allow it to dry down for 15 minutes. 
before you do anything like smile or anything that's going to create creases under your eye. So really these products need to have plenty of time to set in place. They need to be able to dry down without you, you know, causing any kind of lines around your eyes. So another thing to consider based on, you know, how much time you may have to get ready when you're going to be using these products. Both of them say to use a pea size amount and then take your finger or a brush and blend it out gently. And although it does say that you can apply this one over makeup, you do need to let your makeup dry down completely before you add this over the top. But this one says that there is no cast. So let's go ahead and try these two and see, um, see what we think. Okay, and then it says use a pea size amount. So hopefully you can see that it is, it definitely is depuffing. And I tried to be careful with the amount to put on so that there wouldn't be much of that cast that I was talking about. It just kind of looks like an off-white powder when I use this. Okay, let's try the Bye Bye Under Eye Bags now. You can see that I have a significant fat pad under this eye, so let's see what this does for it. It says just to do feather strokes back and forth, being very light, and just blending it. Okay, now let's give that a minute to dry down and see what we think. Well, I have to say I'm a little bummed because the Bye Bye doesn't seem to really be doing much of anything for my eye bag. Whereas on this eye, I can actually feel product working and my eye being tightened, like I can feel it here and it definitely is making a noticeable difference. I mean, if I bend like this, you can see what a difference this one, I mean, this eye does have a smaller bag to begin with, but not, I mean, this looks much better, much better than it did when I started. So, and I'm not really seeing anything with this. I expected to like feel the product working like I am with this eye. I expected to start seeing it go down and maybe that will happen more as it dries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump off, I'm gonna give it like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back so that we can see the results. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna get up close so you can see the results. Now, as you can see, I really don't feel like this one, like the um, Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics, I don't really feel like it did a lot. Now I can see some improvement. I can see that the bag is not as prominent as it was before. I can see that it smoothed, you know, more of this area and some of this area a little bit more, but definitely not the results I think I get with this one from Peter Thomas Roth. Now this one, Again, still a little bit of a bag, but not nearly as severe as it was. So I'm a little bummed because I actually thought that, that this one would be amazing because I do like most of the products from It Cosmetics. And so I thought that this would be um, compa very comparable to this one. And at least on first try here, and again, this is the very first time I'm trying it. So not a lot of experience, but I did put on a pea size amount. I followed the directions and I just don't think that I'm having very phenomenal results. Now I will try it on um, both of my eyes, obviously, and I'm going to try it with makeup as well. And I will report back at the end of the month whether I ended up liking this or not. But honestly, I mean, for the price difference, I mean, you get double the product with this one 
as you do with this one. And um, what I'm seeing for results, I don't see myself paying $40 for this again when I can get this one for 38 in a one ounce or 24 in a smaller one. And the results are so much more significant. So um, for whatever it's worth, that's my opinion, although it is a first impression and I will, again, I will report back and let you know if I've had any more success with this. Um, and if I see, you know, any more noticeable difference, how it wears um, under makeup as well. And, um, but, you know, upon first review, my honest thought is that I'm really bummed because I wanted to love this product and I thought I would, especially for the price. I thought it was going to be phenomenal. Um, I just see much better results with this one, I think. The only one, and again, with this one, you do see, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there it leaves like a powdery residue around the edges, which is, um, you do have to hide it somehow, like with makeup. And again, you have to be careful what makeup you use. So, um, you know, benefits and drawbacks to each. If you only have mild eye bags, perhaps this one will be great for you. Um, but if you have significant bags like I do, I'm, I'm gonna say that this is probably um, the win for you. Hey there, Future Joy here, cutting in. So I filmed that original first impression review last week and I didn't feel like that gave it enough of a fair chance. Like I really wanted to do a thorough review. So I have worn both of these during the week and at the end of the video, what my final thoughts are on both of these products. However, I also thought that to be fair so that you could get an accurate picture of how these work, I would try them one more time on for you. Now, Now, as you can see, my left eye bag is much worse than my right. This one started when I was like 25. I don't know why, but it's just always been bigger. So I had previously tried the Bye Bye Under Eye on this one, and then the Peter Thomas Roth on my right one, which is not as bad. So today I'm going to switch those. I'm going to do the Peter Thomas Roth on my bad one, and my Bye Bye Under Eye on this one. So that as you evaluate this video, um, if you also are looking for a product that works, you will have a fair and accurate idea of how these two things perform, okay? And I'm going to apply the pea size amount that it says it takes. All right, now again, this one says it takes five minutes to dry down, okay? But we're gonna wait a full 15 minutes because after I apply this one, the Bye Bye Under Eye actually takes a full 15 minutes for you to see the full results. Okay, so that is both of those applied. We're gonna wait 15 minutes and I will be back. Okay, hi, it's been 15 minutes. Actually, it's been a little bit over 15 minutes, but I'm just gonna get close to the camera so you guys can see this. Again, this is the Peter Thomas Roth, and this is the It Bye Bye. So you can compare these to the results I had when I had them you know, on the alternate eyes. Do you remember how large this eye bag was? And now look, it is virtually entirely gone, like almost entirely gone. Now, a couple things to note about this. I mean, this is impressive. The Peter Thomas Roth is impressive. Um, it does feel tight, okay? So you do feel like a tight feeling on your under eye while you're wearing it. The other thing is, um, if you can see, you know, I've talked about the white cast before, you can clearly see where that is when I use a whole pea size amount. Um, so what I was doing this week when I was wearing this with makeup is I was having to go around the edges, blot them, or like, you know, I took a little water and just wiped away the edges there so they weren't at least, you know, cause they're kind of flaky and crusty. But for this kind of result, I mean, it's impressive. Hey guys, so I wanted to leave you with some final thoughts on these two products. 
So of the two, the Peter Thomas Roth definitely works better. Um, it definitely depuffs a lot better than the It Bye Bye. Um, however, you cannot wear this one really under makeup very well. It does leave the white cast with some flaking. When I put concealer over it, it does tend to look a little bit funky. So it can be done. You can hide it with makeup, but it doesn't look the best. This one, I just don't really think um, gives much of a result at all. So under makeup or not under makeup, I just don't think it's strong enough for you know, the amount of eye baggage that I have. Again, if you just have minor eye bags, this might be great for you. Um, but if you are mature with, you know, very pronounced bags as I am, then this is probably going to be the product of choice. But again, it does leave the white cast and it is a little bit tricky under makeup and you have to be careful what kind of makeup you can't use anything water-based over it. So those are my final thoughts on these two things. If I were going to choose to buy one over the other, I would buy the Peter Thomas Roth, um, knowing what I know now, um, because I do think it gives a better result. But I actually did the comparison just about an hour ago before I put on my makeup. And if you look now, you can see that um, my bag is actually back to some degree. It may not be as pronounced as normal, but it is definitely back. And I just feel like anytime I put makeup on, I definitely lose the full effect of the Peter Thomas Roth one. So, you know, there are pros and cons to each. They are a fairly expensive product. Um, you know, if you have a special event or something of that nature, then it's probably worth picking this one up and giving it a shot. Um, that is generally when I try to make this one work for me is when I have something special going on and I just really want my bags to be gone. But again, it's a little bit tricky to wear. So I hope that that helped you in some way. If you are um, looking for something to help with your eye bags, or if you have been wondering about either of these products or how they compare, I think it's probably a good thing to have. You know, if you have eye bags, it's probably one of those good essentials to just have in your makeup bag. I don't think either one is a fabulous solution, but short of surgery, when you have really pronounced bags, there's probably nothing that's going to be a miracle. So I think if, you know, if you approach it reasonably and understand that, then you can appreciate at least some of the benefits that these products give. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope that this helped you in some way and that you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.